Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Hey, Tim Ortiz, November 9, Sierra Alpha Bravo, reached out and let me know that he's sending over a ham radio care package. Now since it's Tim, I thought, hmm, let's go ahead and open this box on video to let all of you see what uh, type of cool things he sent over. So stick with me and let's open up this care package together. All right, guys. Let's go. So, here's a package from Tim. Well, let's see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Very well packaged, Tim. Absolutely magnificent. Wow, that's an extremely small antenna. Oh, and it says 20 meter. And I'm not sure if this, is, well, from the wire size, it looks like a 20 meter dipole. Absolutely brilliant. All right, let's put that aside. Let's look at the next one. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, another dipole. I'm not sure if this is a normal dipole or OCF. Oh, wow. Oh, Standing. Hey guys, this is a 40 meter dipole. And look at this. It weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. I can't wait to get that out in the field. And let's set that aside. Let's check the next one. Move that over a little bit. I like these little pouches that he uses to store the antennas. Okay. Let's see. Oh, brilliant. You know, okay, this seems to be a 30 meter dipole. And I'll tell you guys, 30 meters is underutilized and generally neglected by uh, ham radio manufacturers and antenna manufacturers. It's brilliant to see this. I hope he's going to have all of these in his uh, eBay shop. I'll leave links to that shop in the description, by the way. All right, let's look at the next one. Well, that looks really cool. We'll leave that one for last. This looks massive, so I'm, I'm really curious what that is. Wow. You ready? Here we go. Oh. What's this? There's something going on here. Hey. I believe this is 
a linked dipole. Hold on. Let's flip it over and see if it's marked. Have I missed something? Well, it's definitely a linked dipole. I'll have to ask Tim the band coverage. It might be a 2040 linked dipole because we've talked about that before. And again, it absolutely weighs nothing. It's got this waterproof covering on it. That's absolutely brilliant. All right, let's move on to the next one. Set these aside. Dipoles are always going to be the best performing antennas. Not always the easiest to deploy, but if you're counting ounces and grams, you, you really can't beat the lightweight wire antenna. Let's see what else is going on there. See, there seems to be a note with this one as well. Camouflage. Metro camo. Oh. Okay, Tim says this is the 4020-15-10 meter linked in fed half wave ah wow this is a low power model which is not a problem for us let's take a look you know there's some linked sorry in feds on the market and they're always massive hold on see big round spike wow wow what was the band coverage again let's take a look at that one more time Band coverage was, can you guys see it? 40, 20, 15, and 10. So this is excellent for portable JS8 call with a pocket portable antenna. Absolutely brilliant. And I believe this is some sort of ground spike or a, uh, no, it's the counterpoise with an anchor. Brilliant. Okay. And again, it's going to be a blast to test these out in the field. Winter's almost, uh, well, I won't jinx it. <laughs> I was going to say winter is almost done here, guys. But uh, honestly, uh, I remember one year it was, you know, practically the middle of June and it was snowing and that was crazy. Okay. Let's put this aside, back in that excellent bag. Bring the paper back with it so that we know what it is. We don't mix these things up. It's absolutely brilliant. Okay. There's another small bag. Let's take a look at that one. Let's see. My radio is transmitting. I don't know if you guys can hear that. As always, I've got JS8 call running in the background 24 7, all day, every day. Look at these, Tim.
Oh, interesting. This is a joke. Yes. Inline choke. You know, that's pretty incredible. I mean, that's small. I love that Tim respects the weight we have to carry when operating man portable in the field. That's brilliant. Let's see if the other one is just the same or a different model. Hold on, let's compare them. Looks the same. Yeah, that's a joke for HF. Keeps the antenna resonating and not the coax. Brilliant. Thank you, Tim. No. Oh. Okay. There's one more thing in the box. This is orange. Now, Tim said that he was sending something over, something that might be uh, an antenna that I could use as my, uh, like my signature antenna for the channel. I was very interested in that because, you know, guys, I always have some kind of silly ideas or ideas which are uh, somewhat different than the typical ideas we have in uh, normal ham radio. That's a nice bag, by the way. Ah, I know exactly what this is. I believe, guys, this is a off-center fed dipole either 40 20 15 10 or 80 40 20 and so on but this is the 100 watt model i'm almost certain this is one i would use with the pa 500 amplifier by the way now i did a review and my uh kind of a review but i introduced a version of this antenna in my antenna strategy survival antenna strategy video and I was complaining, not really complaining, but the feedback I gave Tim was for a man portable antenna, we should always use a B and C connector. So you know what? This is a little heavier than the low power versions. I guess those were 50 watt versions. But this is a hundred watt, I believe, off center fed dipole with bnc connector perhaps there's also an integrated choke i have to ask tim about that oh my goodness i think that this can very well be the signature man portable wire antenna for oh8 sdn off-grid ham radio what do you guys think about it all right this video is long enough and i see my camera battery is dying let me know what you think about each of those uh, antennas. I'll leave links in the description if Tim gets back to me before this video goes out. And uh, uh, Tim, you're absolutely awesome. I, I very much appreciate it. All right, guys, look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment and or a thumbs up. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.